Hello friend, so I'll be starting from the crypt entrance in Psy Cave, and we're going to be going left. We're actually going to be going to the Drowned Crypt, and I'll try and avoid as much fighting as I can, just to make the video as quick as possible. So yeah, for now we're just going to be going down, and once we get to this bottom, you'll see that gate on the left is locked, and to unlock it we need to go over here on the right. So we're going to have to jump across and use this box to hold down a pressure plate. So it shows that it opens the door when that's left there, so we're just going to go back to the left side of the map now. There will be another box, but we don't really need to mess with it right now, so we're just going to go ahead. So careful, if you jump up there, there will be icicles in the ceiling. So just roll past that guy on the bottom probably. And we need to get up there where that guy above us is. So come over here in this room, jump up here, jump back on the right side, and then we'll come out behind them. So we're going to be jumping on these platforms, but they will like break right away, so don't stop moving, just keep going. Then come up here to the top left and climb the ladder. And more breakable platforms, remember the spikes are insta-kill, so yeah, just try not to stop moving. Try your best to grab this ledge, that way we can climb up, and then watch out for more icicles in the ceiling. So this box coming up, just push it to the left, kick it down, and then go down there and do it one more time. And it'll land on a pressure plate, which will lower the ladder for us. So all these barrels right here are explosive. Do not break them. They will blow up on you. We're going to have to move this box and you might have to deal with this guy. Thankfully they blew up some of the barrels. So just position it enough to be able to jump up here. So I did end up dying. The dude down here will like just light the whole place on fire and give you that burn attribute. So just watch out for that. So this room is going to be important because there's going to be a box at the bottom that we can push onto a pressure point and a shortcut. Do watch out for the spikes coming up. Again, they will one shot you. So just kick this box down, and then jump across, pull the lever, it'll lower the ladder, and now we're going to head back up. So now we gotta jump across some collapsing platforms again, but be careful because on the third one, the dude with a giant cannon is aiming at you. So try timing your jump to not get hit. More collapsible platforms, and then you gotta jump ladder to ladder, 
do not miss. You don't want to run all the way back. And then make sure you climb up this last ladder. And we're going to go get a sword. After getting the awesome sword, we're going to go ahead and go down the ladder and then go to the right. So like we did previously, push this block down and then jump across, get the shortcut real quick. You can just jump down, you don't take fall damage, I don't believe. And so push it onto the pressure plate. And then we dropped this one down earlier, so just run across and then push down onto the pressure plate as well. This opens up the door on the very left. This guy will sell a couple things, just kind of like some moon silverstone if you want them, bullets, healings. And we're finally at the new altar. 